What's up guys, it's the Doze and we are back here on the Dozecraft SMP server and today we got some more clips, but we got something very special going on. Um, I don't know if you guys watch American football, but it is Super Bowl season and my team, the Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks, are going to the Super Bowl against uh, the Broncos. So, I made a deal with myself, I haven't told any of you guys yet. I've told a couple people on the server, um, but not many people know about it. So it, it's it's not really a bet, but it's kind of a bet against myself. It's more of like um, a confidence in my team thing. Um, and I have a plan. So I'm, I'm going to, let me just long story short this as much as I can. I'm going to build uh, the Seahawks uh What's it called? Not emblem, but uh, the uh, symbol or something. The uh, the Seahawks symbol, I guess it'd be called. I'm gonna build that, and um, all of the blocks that will be in the build, um, it, it works perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna build it out of emerald blocks, uh, diamond blocks, iron blocks, and lapis. I, I think I think that's it. So four very valuable. Uh, block types and uh, it's going to be a lot of iron and uh, it, a few emeralds not many but the the cherry on top is I will need ow I will need 48 blocks of diamond okay and I'm not even sure I have that much right now um, I'm going to have to check and see how many blocks I have I had to do a bunch more mining just to try to get uh, 48 blocks. I might have to do more, I'm not sure. I do have some ores I need to fortune three. Um, so it's going to take 48 blocks of diamond. Now, here is the deal. I'm going to build this symbol uh, up on my mountain, I believe. It's going to be the Seahawk symbol made out of iron and emerald and diamond and all that good stuff, lapis. If the Seahawks lose the Super Bowl, I am going to dispose of every single block that is in that uh, picture, whatever you call it. Symbol, freaking, uh, I can't think of what it's called. The Seahawks emblem. <laughs> I'm going to throw it away. And just to be sure that I will never get it back, I have, uh, which explains why I'm down here, I've made a shaft. It goes all the way up to next to my house, and I'll show you how that looks. But this is basically a bottomless pit. And what I've done is I've come here with some dark oak saplings. Um, I've moved this around so much, but I finally broke a huge hole in the ground. All of this that you see here, all of the iron and all of the wood, this all goes straight into the void. It, this took forever to do, but I finally did it. Um, I actually had to start like up here and break all these ones out of the way. Then I finally made it down. It was, it was, it was a pain in the ass, but I have a big bottomless pit now. And uh, I'll show you the top. I'm kind of decorating it too, just because you know how I do. Um, so it's a big bottomless pit. So if they lose, I'm going to take every block out of that picture, of that uh, symbol. Why do I feel like I'm not using the right words? It's not symbol. It's not emblem. It's, uh, I don't know, the logo. That's the word I'm looking for. It's the logo. The Seahawks logo. I'm going to take every block out of there, including the 48 diamond blocks and I'm going to throw them down this hole and they're all going to go into the void just to prove this is the void I will break these out and I did this 100% legit you can see this whole entire hole is all void meaning if the Seahawks lose the Super Bowl and I throw this stuff down here it is gone forever never getting it back ever ever again I'll also open up the whole thing I don't really need to but whatever Okay, so I'm going to run up to my house really quick. Um, I'm going to see how many diamonds I have. We'll get into this first clip, and then once the clip's over, we'll come back, and we'll talk about this a little bit more. But look how big that freaking hole in the void is. Um, so yeah, check out this first clip. What is this first clip? This first clip, um, I've recorded since then, because Connor made his shop, um, made his shop trying to steal business for me, but this is uh, before Connor built his shop. Uh, this is me messing around with the item frames over at the shop, and uh, and then I'll be right back. All right, so my shop has got some action. 
And uh, if I haven't talked about that already, then I'll talk about it in the future. And this, the price guide up here, so this is where the price guide goes, right? I'm naked, by the way. Uh, it goes up here. You can see it, shop price guide. So if you want to know the prices of my uh, beacons and my instant health and regeneration and stuff, you just grab the book. But the, there's a problem right here. And uh, it like bounces all over the place. It bounced at me, but it wasn't really there. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it goes on the roof. Like, like where the hell to go? Why, why does it keep going back there? I can't even reach it right now. Can I get it? I can't even get it right now. I gotta walk behind it. So this was a problem, and I figured out how to fix it. And it's kind of interesting. Um, we've probably all seen these are slabs. We've probably all seen items bounce around on slabs. If you like drop an item or something, the slabs act very funny. When it, where, where'd that item frame go now? See, I can't keep track of anything. There it is. Things bounce around on the slabs, and I think it, it's the same thing happening right now with this picture frame and taking an item out because it's even because it's on a slab. And there's slabs on the ceiling too, but that's not the problem. I'll show you. So. I decided to change it to a stair. I have slabs above it just for aesthetics. There's no reason for that. Just to take up space so it looks kind of nice. Um, and you can't open a chest with a full block there, but you can open it with stairs or slabs or glass or fences or something like that. Um, so I had slabs there because it looked nice. I decided to try a stair. Put one stair there, and it works fine. That's all I need. I don't know, it's just kind of an interesting concept to me. Check it out. Or not concept, but interesting thing. So now when I want to take the book, I just pop it off, and it... And it freaks out. And it freaks... Uh, I just made myself out to be a liar. I just tried this a little bit ago, and it worked fine. Alright, well thanks. Thanks, jerks. You completely landed on the roof that time. Had no problem... I just, I swear... See? It's gone. It's gone! This is hopeless. Hopeless, I tell you. I'm never gonna have a, I'm never gonna have a properly functioning shop. No one's gonna take me seriously. I'm gonna be a failure on Dozacraft. Everyone's gonna hate me. Everyone's gonna laugh at me. I have an idea. Paper. I wonder how many books I can make. Uh, is there no leather? Come here. I want to make you a book. I want to make. Fine. Just don't. These guys aren't giving me leather. Five. We'll make five books. So you can copy books. I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, you can do it with maps too. Uh, I'm not, I don't know anything about maps, but I know you can uh, copy them. But let's make a couple books here. If you make a writable book and you're worried about losing it or if you want to make exact copies of the same thing, you don't have to uh, rewrite the whole book over and over again. Um, let me show you. I'm going to get... I need, Okay, so you have I have this book, the Shop Price Guide. I'm worried about losing it. This is why I'm doing this, because it bounces around so much. Maybe somebody will take it off, it'll land on the roof, and then it'll never be seen again. They won't notice it was up there, and it'll despawn. You know what I mean? Um, so I, wanted, I want to duplicate it. And this isn't like an exploit dupe. This is like a legit thing. What am I looking for? Here, this. Ink sacks. Okay, so you need to make more rewritable books. You can't do it with a normal book. So I have five more rewritable books. So I just take this, put it in here in my crafting table, and I can put it just right here. It doesn't matter where it goes. I'm pretty sure it's a shapeless recipe. And can I do this? Oh yeah, you can fill you, I I can do all these at once, watch. I think. I hope this is I hope this is how it works. I can take the big crafting table cuz you could do this in just your inventory crafting, which is only four spaces. Or you could do it in here. I'm pretty sure I could take these. Uh, see, if I put one there, it says you get two. That doesn't mean you end up with three. That just means it's this one plus this one. It's one plus one, people. What does that equal to? That's right, two. So this will say I get six. Bam, now I have six. And they even pile up. All right, so we have these extra books made now. And, of course, I lost my item frame. No idea where it went. Um, this this could stay for now, but I don't think it's going to work. I, I, the whole reason I wanted to record this was to show you guys that it was the slabs acting funny on my shop right there. Uh, turns out everything's fucked up. So let's just make... I'll just make... I'll make another damn chest. How many chests do I need in my shop for, th for things to work? Shop price guide. Just like that. Thank you. 
We're just going to put a bunch in here because I, I'm scared of losing them. I don't want to lose them. Now that, that's not even. There we go. Let's just do it like that. Why do we have so many? Don't ask me questions. <laughs> uh, hey, Zisto. Um, I, I know I owe you that money, and I promise I'll get it to you. I just... I, I wasn't able to get paid this month, and I, I promise I'll get the money to you as soon as... All right, Zisto. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'll get to you soon. All right? God, that guy has anger issues. I tell you, man, that Zisto guy has some anger issues. I mean, he's a guest here. He, he's welcome here. But, boy, you, you borrow 20 bucks from that guy, and he will murder your face. Look at all this dark oak wood. <laughs> this is all from making that hole in the ground. Okay, so I'm back up here. I'm going to have to kill... I have this on me because I have to kill some slimes. Let me let me address that really quick. Holy crap, all these slimes. So, as you know, since I got my computer upgraded and things are running so much better, I have uh, turned this back on uh, because my computer runs so much better and also because in 1.8 we're going to have the slime blocks. And uh, so I wanted to be well prepared for that. So, uh, we'll do this later. Gonna get some leg anyways. Um, so this is, okay, this is full. <laughs> I didn't know it was full. This one, okay, that's full too. So here's another two double chests. Not to mention that all of these are filled. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Can I reach it? Five, that one's full. This one's about halfway done. This one's empty. This, pretty much this whole wall is gonna be full of them. So I'm gonna have a lot of slime balls for 1.8. I'm going to I'm going to open a business. All right, so now let's check out I'm I'll c kill these guys later. Let's check out uh diamonds. So I need 48 blocks of diamonds for this. I have 31 and have 48 ores. Now let's break these ores down really quick. Oh, and I have 64 diamonds in here. These 64 diamonds are actually from uh selling my beacons and a few potions. So that's another what, what does that make like 9 blocks? No, not nine blocks. Seven blocks. There's another seven blocks. A little bit closer. So now we're at 38. We need ten more blocks. I'm going to get my fortune three. I'm going to go pile this ore up, and we'll see how many diamonds we get from that. All right. Well, uh, call me greedy, but I did not get as many diamonds as I thought I would off that. Uh, what was that, 41 ores or something like that? Uh, it's only going to make a few more blocks. I think about probably nine or so. Less than ten, I'm positive. Let's see, there's seven. And, oh no, twelve. Okay, twelve more. Oh, that's plenty. That's plenty. We have plenty. Great. We have 50 blocks of diamond now. So, 48 of these are going to go into that, uh, the logo. I, f I figured out the word now. It's logo. All right, so, we're, we're going to finish this this logo in uh in today's video but we got one more clip to go and uh this was i'm gonna do it when we get back i'm gonna have this logo all built and ready and then uh oh let me show you the bottomless pit real quick too from above i built it just behind my house underneath my back porch here it is bottomless pit i'm gonna decorate uh the walls more with the with the iron bars like this, but you can see it goes all the way down. It looks blue for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that is most definitely the void down there. So you do not want to fall down here because uh, it is certain death. It's very dangerous. So anybody comes from my house, be very careful. Okay, so let's get into this next clip, the last clip of the video, before we officially come back and start working on this build. Actually, let me show you really quick also where I'm going to build this. So just to recap, actually, I'll recap at the end. Okay, so up here is where I'm going to build it. It's going to be right above the creeper face. Right there, I think. It should be big enough. It's, it's going to be pretty big, so it might take up like this whole area. But it's going to be the Seahawks logo right there. Um, so yeah, let's get into this clip. This was me over at McLovin's house, his spawn house. And uh, it was like 4 in the morning and I was being mischievous. And uh, decided to make his house into a contribution to spawn to house our beautiful chickens so check that out i'm going to go to spawn grab some iron and get building on this logo i know mclovin hasn't really been around in a while but i just every time i walk by this house i can't help but feel like it would be way too much fun just to throw things in this hole he's got this giant hole in the front of his house and i 
I've never actually done it, but I mean, it's it's the perfect hole just to throw things into. So I don't know when he's coming back, but I mean, I hope he's hungry for eggs, or you know, at least like some uh, some chicken chef salad or like you know, like a BLT salad with with some uh, chopped chicken breasts. Because when he comes back, there's gonna be probably a couple of vi visitors in his house. I mean, I don't know. Th there's some connection with the whole on the front of his house and uh and chicken i just can't put my finger on it what exactly it could be but all i can tell you right now is i only have one egg left and i'm done oh well that's no fun he's got a hole in his back door uh a lot of them got out but stop stop go back and s i think it's become a chicken coop they're going in and out like it's nothing uh i have an idea Yep, I have an idea. Since McLuffin is, isn't around, I have an idea for his house. Since we contributed, you know, with the chickens and everything, uh, I figure his house can now, you know, double as the spawn chicken coop. You know, why not? I mean, it's the only thing. Uh, it, it's it's just uh, it's what McLuffin would want us to do. I can hear him right now telling me. Doza, listen, I know I'm not around to play uh, right now, but I would love if you could just let a bunch of chickens loose in my house and uh, let it be the uh, the town chicken coop. And, and I'm going to respect those wishes. I know McLovin would want that to happen. So that's what we're going to do now. And don't worry, I, I know there's not many chickens in your house, McLovin, but... Uh, D just know it, it will serve its purpose. Um, we will populate your house very well with chickens. I any loose chickens around spawn, like this guy needs to come with me. I need to pick up. Where's some? What have you done with the grass around here, McLovin? Where are you, McLovin? I haven't talked to you forever. Um, come on, chickens. Come on, chickens. Where are you guys at? Oh, it's rain. Chickens, it's raining. It's raining, chickens. Uh, I found one, I think. Oh, there's two. One of them's kind of glitched out. Okay, come on, guys. Come on in. Come inside. Come inside McLovin's house. There we go. Come. Would you come on, please? There we go. Now we have to change this sign. And we will change it to... McLovin's McChicken Coop. Huh? That works. McLovin's McChicken Coop. Thanks, McLovin, for all you do for us here on Dozercraft. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, got some extra iron too. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. About seven stacks of iron blocks. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to build this, but trust me, you, you watch. I will have this thing built before you can say Super Bowl 48. And bam, it's done. See, you didn't even get to finish the word, did you? Um, this actually took me forever to do. I had plenty of iron, thank goodness. Actually, I had plenty of everything. Um, Seeing it from below doesn't really give it much justice. Uh, so on top of the uh, the horse stable here is actually the best thing. So as you can see, 48 blocks. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot of blocks uh, from a distance because you know it, it gives like the pixelated uh, version of it or whatever. But uh, yeah, there's the 48 blocks of um, of the diamond, and then it's, it's only got four blocks of emeralds. You would think I use a lot of emeralds for this, but uh, and it's not. It's not exactly how the logo looks. This is a Minecraft version uh, of the logo. I don't know where Jack is. Jack Jones came over and... Uh, oh, there he is down there fighting off things. Um, he came over to check this out. So, so yeah, this is how it goes. Just to recap, and Super Bowl's in... Oh, let me check the date. Super Bowl is in about four days, I think. Uh, three or four days, so it's very soon, so... I wanted to get this done in enough time that you guys would be able to see it. And just to recap, if the Seahawks win the Super Bowl, I get to keep all of these blocks. If they lose the Super Bowl, all of these are going in the bottomless pit over there by my house. Um, and if they win, I'm thinking that this will probably just stay up here and I'll have to just mine some more diamonds. I might keep this up here for a while. Uh, obviously way bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would just take up part of that mountain, but it definitely took up a lot of it. So yeah, here it is. Go Seahawks, Super Bowl 48. Please win so I can keep 
my uh, blocks here, and this was actually a, a pain in the ass to do. I died a couple times. You can see I'm low on health. It's just from falling down over and over and over again. Um, yeah, you remember I had 50 blocks of diamond. Now I have two left, so that's 48 blocks. Oh, uh, man. So, yeah, this is my dedication to the, to, to the Seahawks. This is how much I'm confident that they're going to win. Of course, I don't want to throw away my blocks into the void, and I will do that. There's not going to be any cheating. I'm not. It's not like I'm going to do it just for video or something, and then, uh, you know. So on Super Bowl, you know, I should have I should have put on my my Seahawks colors. I'm I'm going to make some armor that's uh, lime green and dark blue for the Seahawks. So there's a perfect. Uh, here's the screenshot. Here's the thumbnail right there. Bam, got it. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Probably a long video today because I had to get a couple video clips in. But uh, go Seahawks. Tell me in the comments who you who you are rooting for. Are you rooting for the Broncos? Are you rooting for the Seahawks? Do you watch football? How was your day? I don't know. Just tell me anything in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And click those annotations to watch yesterday. Watch the previous video. and the next, I, I can't. I'm too excited right now. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Peace the fuck out.